Okay, so what's up guys, I'm Pixel Sammy and GRL is finally back with one of his latest videos. So we are going to break down one of his effects such as this anamorphic flare effects in his videos. Now this is a very simple one and I've already shown many tutorials on this on Final Cut Pro. So for this video, I'm going to do exactly the same thing but in a more detailed fashion. So this is one sample just like this one which you just see on the screen. Another one is this one, this Christmas tree one. Again, I feel this is a bit too much but again, it is a totally dark room. So it looks good. So for my case, I've taken some stock footages from Storyblocks, not sponsored by the way. So this is one stock footage. Again, this is a little bit of a brighter room, so the effect might not look so good. So I'm going to reduce the intensity a little bit. But then again, this is just to show you guys the tutorial and you guys can just improvise based on your footages and all. And this is another card footage which I'm going to use to show you guys the anamorphic effect. So just download the MDFuse from Motion VFS, not sponsored by the way, it is a free plugin. Just download it and install it on Final Cut Pro. Once that is done, make your timeline. And then after that, go to the effects panel, drag the MDFuse. There are many versions of the MDFuse. So I feel that the number one version, the zero one version is the one that fits really well. So once I drag that onto the clip, I just play with the settings, of course, change the color of the flare. And then I feel this is good enough, but I'm going to just copy the diffuse effect a little bit more. So twice or thrice will be good, just like this. As you can see, this is a little bit of a brighter room compared to the GRLE one. So because of that, I've kept the flare intensity lower than the GRLE's one. It was a completely dark room in GRLE's case. But in this case, it is a bright room. You can see the lighting and all on the right hand side. So it varies a lot depending on the footage. So that's enough for this footage. It looks pretty good on its own. This is the before and the after. And then after that, this is the second clip. I want to drag this 05 effect onto the clip just like this. Of course, all the other places are getting diffused as well, which is not looking good. So what I'm going to do is after changing the diffuse amount right here, I'm going to add a shape mask to the front light of the car just like this and then it should look pretty good on its own. If you want, you can set keyframes to the mask as well. It's totally up to you. So that's enough for this video. Again, if you guys want to, you guys can add the other glare effects too, such as this one or the other ones. It is totally up to you and improvise based on your footages, based on your skills and of course, color grade. That's a very crucial thing. Generally made some awesome videos, so make sure to check out his channel if you guys haven't. With that being said, I'm Pixel Sammy. I'll be back with a new video soon. Peace out.